radical reactions. So I'm talking about radical reactions here. Um, three steps, initiation, propagation, and then termination. Um, the first step, we have some energy, in this case light. That's gonna, what that's gonna do is break the weakest bond in the system. And so, in this case, that's called an initiation. The initiation step is where radicals are actually formed. So now for the initiation step, we're going to have two BR dots. What that's going to do next is a propagation step. The propagation step is where the ra uh, radicals react to form new radicals. So let's go show one of our BR dots now with this alkane. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a radical here. And we want to create a radical, the most stable radical possible. And radicals um, are sp2 hybridized like carbocations. So they behave like carbocations because they're electron deficient, right? They don't have a full octet. So the same rules for stabilizing carbocations apply for radicals, hyperconjugation, pi bond resonance, and lone pair resonance. So the more substituted radical, the more stable it is. So in this case, if we can make a tertiary radical, we will. That's exactly what we can do. So the electron going there. Tricky to show this. This is showing a bo HBr bond being formed. When two electrons come together, that's what's happening. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we're going to have a radical now. In that propagation step, what do we end up with? Right, we recreated a new radical, and we made HBr. One, two, three, four, five. Nice things about radicals, they do not rearrange. Now that we could find a more stable one here, but radicals won't rearrange. So that's really nice. And so the initiation step, we've done, reform the radicals. That's that. Propagation step was where um, one, a radical interacts with another molecule and creates a new radical. And then the final step, is actually something called a termination. Let me just shrink this stuff up here, get out of the way. So the final step is going to be something called a termination. That's when two radicals will come together. So in this case, we still have two HBr, we had two Br dots. So one of those bromines is still around. Number one, two, three, four, five. What's going to happen? This bromine and this carbon are come together. That termination step. Take two radicals, no longer have any radicals in the product. And we've added a bromine to the most substituted or most the position, the carbon that would be the most stabilized radical. And that's the final step. So three steps. Initiation, form the radicals. Need some energy to do that. Break the weaker bond. Propagation, abstract a hydrogen that gives you the most stable radical. Same rules apply for radicals as they do for carbocations. This is electron deficient, so we're going to make the most stable radical possible. Termination is where two radicals come together and we form the alkyl halide. Now somebody might ask, well couldn't lots of different radicals come together? Of course. And so a lot of times that these radical reactions, we have to tell you what the product is, uh, where you're going and what you're trying to make here. So obviously that plus HBr to balance things out, one, two, three, four, five. So usually show you the product to tell you where they're going. That's radical reactions. Initiation, propagation, termination.